Leos. Subscribe. What up, players? What I stay up in this mood? Today I've got the Vlad von Karstein Citadel Finecast model. I just took him out of his clamshell, so I thought we could take a look at him together. See all the imperfections and all the fine cast air bubbles and, and everything that fine cast is known for. And then I'll do a little war boss tutorial on how I plan to paint him up. As you can see, it's going to be pretty easy. Most of him is black. It's predominantly a, a black based model. So I'm thinking it's not going to take too long to paint him up. All right, so. This is the first Citadel Finecast model that I've purchased where he's pretty much all in one piece that I can think of off the top of my head. So except for cleaning up some flash and mold lines, it's you don't have to glue anything together, you just have to glue him to the base. And it... Oh man, are you serious? Look at this, do you see right where his um, arm meets the cape? Is it supposed to be like that? Is this flash? Do I cut this off? Hold on. What does it look like on the model? Oh no, it's solid. Oh no. It's solid. It's supposed to be solid. It's like, oh, look at my arm. What is that? Oh, send me back. Got a new one. Ah oh, man such a hassle. I don't even have my receipt anymore. Do you think do you think GW will send me another one if I just show this to them? Ugh, I don't know. GW, if you watch my videos, which you know I highly doubt, you have to fix stuff like this. This is not good. Look, there's this air pocket right where his elbow should be. And then all these holes. Ah man. I see more little air bubbles at the bottom of his cape. Yeah, right there. Some flash on the sword. Oh, a little chip right there in the sword. Oh, look how bad it is from behind. I have to cover that up with green stuff or something. Oh, seriously? There too? It's a little, what is that? It's like a horn coming out from his back. Yeah. The back side of the horn is all... Oh no, it's not the horn, it's this piece. Oh, that looks... Oh, okay, that looks like it's supposed to be like that. I like vampire counts because of the gothic horror look that they have going. A uh, very classic horror. If you've seen some of the old, the the classic Games Workshop Vlad von Karstein, it looks pretty silly compared to this. Like this new Vlad von Karstein is really brutal and savage and looks more like a monster than like that you know romantic vampire look. Certainly not a Twilight Vampire. Ooh. I said the T word. Some flash under his foot. Alright, so I'll clean this up as best as I can, glue him on a base, and then I'll show you what he looks like when I get back. Alright, so here's Vlad on his base. Gave him one of the skulls, one of the leftover skulls from the Cairn Wraith. Um, but because of the way the skull is supposed to fit into the hood, you'll notice that your extra skulls have a certain shape to them which you'll need to fill in with green stuff if you want it to look like a real skull. But I thought this one with the vampire teeth looked so good and uh, I just wanted to add it to the base. Um, yeah, I don't know about this. This is really junk, really messy. and. I, I don't know how to how to fix it, so I I thought about covering it up with green stuff, but I'm afraid that it it, it won't look very well. So I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna base coat it, spray it black, and see how bad it really is. Oh, what? Ah, another bubble. Ah, fine cast. 
Also, I noticed when I was putting it together that the sword is a little bent backwards. Um, so I'm gonna have to dip that into some hot water and see if I can reshape it. Uh, other than that, you know, there's... I mean, that that's really the worst thing on the model, and it just looks so bad and hard to cover up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna end this video and I am going to get to work on my how to paint a Vlad von Karstein model and stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching.